guy right here could actually be a nice pitchfork. Um, if we were to grab the pitchfork, it's up here, Andrew's pitchfork. Okay, it's actually using very similar theory to the one, two, three. Uh, similar to Elliott Wave. A lot of people take a look at one of these. Someone uses the pitchfork. Someone else uh, uses one, two, three. They look at each other and say, "Why do you use that? It doesn't work." When in truth, they're almost exactly the same. They are based off the similar or same theory. You select the pitchfork. You select point one, two, three. Okay, just like you did with your one, two, three tool, and then you draw or drag out your pitchfork into the chart. Okay. Normally, you would draw this back here. Okay, You draw out your 1, 2, 3, and then you're looking. Um, it's basically going to create your support and resistance right inside the chart. You start stepping. Uh, well, you don't step it forward. This is all live. You'd be going through and looking at. And you actually can look for the trades out into the future. Um, if it breaks below the time, the torque's done. Okay? Or you can go through and put in support and resistance lines. You could put in some extensions right inside this, like these little uh, red tines here, if the market were to break down at some point. Um, but really, take a look at this. Uh, draw in your one, two, three over the same exact points. One, two, three. Turn on your projections. Turn on your predictions. This is the sweet spot right here. Okay, I love using that combination. One, two, three with the, with the pitch for it, and I will very commonly hit that 100% price. That exact section is very common for me. Um, let me go ahead and select this. Um, if I were using the, actually no, I want to select the one, two, three. I would actually turn off the Fibonacci. I would just use user defined and type in 100. Okay, that is actually what I normally do. Maybe add in 50% uh, just to see when it breaks above. Right, as soon as it breaks above that 50%, it's on its way to continue that wave. Uh, but that 100% is really, it's normally the sweet spot that I look for. And markets so often tend to move along and hit that. And when it does. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, really, it is quite the thing to watch. Um, ooh, how about this? Let's do a longer term. This is actually going to be quite long term. Let's see. I actually see a couple different sections here that we could use. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We were on a really long term trend. This is a little bit much, though. I probably wouldn't use one this big. But. That is actually a healthy pitchfork right there. It's bouncing right between the tines. This is your support. Um, you go through, use the same uh, theory, but a different tool. One, two, three, drag in, click, 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 and turn on your projections. You can do the Fibonacci. I would just do the 100 myself, but that's just my preference to each his own. Just keep on moving forward and look for it to hit that price. It really is a beautiful thing when it happens. As soon as it breaks below the tines, though, which would have been right here, this is your time to actually enter. In short, you broke out, and that would be that section there. Just fun to use. Lots of different options. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to be done for right now, actually. Just going through to talk about some of the different tools. Um, I don't see any questions coming in, so I must have just done fantastic, which is great. I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. Um, next time I see you, go ahead and bring in any of those questions that you have, sections you want to know more about. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm uh, just going through and talk about some of the different tools, different options, tinkering, drawing out inside the chart. Um, oh, there is one thing I'd like to show you, actually, before we go. Um, and that is my favorite way to cheat. Okay? Um, I like to say that because when it comes down to it, going through into the chart and um, you know, trying to spot the waves, it's not hard to do. All right, it is a bit of an art, as much of a science, but I like to make it more of a science. I'll actually use a tool we call the zigzag. It's what we use to uh, draw out your Elliott waves, your tracements, your one, two, threes in particular. I'm a big one, two, three fan, and the zigzag tool draws out your one, two, threes. Okay, if you go in here, go to chart overlays, and turn on the zigzag, you get a little line in here. The zigzag, by default, is made for daily charts. Okay. You get it over on the daily chart, you're going to be seeing those retracements, those waves. It's going to be giving you buy-sell signals as well. If you're down on a smaller time frame, like the 15-minute chart, um, what you want to do is adjust the zigzag. You have to adjust its sensitivity for the smaller time frames. Pull over here to the ZZ, little bottom uh, right icon, left click. It's just going to pull up on the preferences and that indicator settings all at once. It's nice, by the way. Uh, volume down here, volume and open interest, click on the little VOL, here's all your premises for volume and open interest. Um, any indicator you turn on, just a quick little click will pull it open and that will save you time. 
Um, if you're on a smaller time frame, I'm going to say that I'm going to bounce around between uh, 0 and 3 on my sensitivity slider. If I grab this slider and start dragging it on the screen, I can actually put through these points, these retracements right into the chart. Basically, let the software do the work for you. Okay, um, I'm going to turn off my retracements just to keep it nice and clean, and you use these to enter in and out. They're to chart out your one, two, three. This right here is a great example. All right, that is a perfect example of if I had been going through and manually drawing this out with my one, two, three tool, turning on my projections, turning on my predictions, drawing that all out, turn on the zigzag, and I'll do it for you. All right, just be sure that when you're going through and adjusting your sensitivity. Look in the chart while you do it. Okay? As I come over here on the right side and I'm grabbing my sensitivity slider and moving it back and forth, I'm looking at where the waves are on the chart. If I'm getting uh, signals that I don't like, I'm going to change it. All right? I'm going to try and get it right where I want. If I want to keep it a little bit uh, more long term, bigger waves, which I actually would, by the way. This is much more smooth. It cuts out the chop, and you can see those retracements going through. I like that as well. Uh, but you can drop it down if you're someone who's jumping in and out. If you're a swing trader or if it's a larger time frame and you want to see more, uh, you can actually go through and fine-tune this as well. Um, how to know when you're about to get a new wave or a new signal. Uh, let's go ahead and move it back so I can show you this. When you're turning on the zigzag, out ahead you're always going to have this line with a price. And this is specifically your retracement target. Okay? It's specifically looking for uh, the breaks out of the 50%. Remember how I mentioned one, two, threes, to keep clean, keep them uh, legitimate. Normally, you have to be less than 50% of a retracement. If it breaks above 50% on that retracement, um, then at that point, you have a new wave. Right? Watch as this goes through. I'm going to get you right to the point where, right there. All right. Say we're back here. We're looking at this chart. Here's our retracement target. The last wave we had was way back here. We got our sell signal at that point. We're waiting to either keep on going short again or to go long. That's really what we're looking for. Um, you step it forward. This price bar jumps up. It hits the retracement target. The new wave is generated. You get a buy signal, and our new retracement target is made. All right. If the market were to all of a sudden drop straight down, hit 1277, then you're going short. Right? You would have your new wave dropping down. But now we have this new wave that's going up. We actually came really close to hitting and uh, cutting out that wave right there as well. Okay, So that is your zigzag, and it is a nice tool to have. Like right here, the wave going up. Here's our retracement target. If it hits, like it did right there, all of a sudden you've got your new wave. It's dropping down, and then we just wait again. All right, It's going to be charting out and basically looking for our Elliott waves and our one, two, threes for us. But that's nice. All right, So I recommend turning that on. Anywho. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll answer any questions that have come in over the next couple of minutes. I'll chat those back to you. Um, certainly hope you enjoyed the class. I'll see you guys again next time. And as always, best of trades. Have a good day, everyone. And let me know if you ever need anything.